Fox 10 breaking news update now. Three months after Terry Sullivan was last seen, two people have now been arrested, one of them her husband. And for that, we want to go right to Tyler Fingered. He's live in Washington County with more information. Tyler? Lenny Spira in Washington County Sheriff Richard Springer speaking to me within the last hour with these new developments in this case involving the disappearance of Terry Sullivan. Take a look at the mugshots just into the newsroom of uh, Samuel Sullivan and his ex-wife Jenny Sullivan. They made an arrest this afternoon. They are both charged with capital murder in this case. Terry Sullivan disappeared back in January. Investigators suspected foul play in the disappearance from the beginning. Human remains in Sullivan's burned car were found in Mobile County last month. Investigators said the car had been in the wooded area for months, probably since Sullivan went missing. Forensics is still trying to positively identify that burned body. Sheriff Springer says while the case is still open, he's happy to finally have made some arrests. It is a great day in my law enforcement life. I've been doing this for over 40 years. And uh, I guess this is one of the best days in my 40 years of law enforcement being able to solve this case. It's been a tough case. We have spent, I say we, all the agencies combined have spent thousands of man hours solving this case. The sheriff says the family has been notified about the arrest and they are emotional about the news. I reached out to a daughter this afternoon who did not want to go on camera with us. As for the suspects, Jenny Sullivan is currently being held here at the Washington County Jail and uh, her ex-husband uh, Samuel Sullivan has been transported to the Clark County Jail. They don't want them communicating, so they didn't want them in the same area in the same cell area. Uh, so they moved him over to Clark County, a neighboring jail over there and coming up all new tonight at 9 and 10. We're going to go through more of that interview with Sheriff Springer and we'll let you hear what he has to say about why this case was so bizarre. We're live in Washington County tonight. Tyler Finger, Fox 10 News.